a kilo of bell pepper is at five thousand dollars how much is that in dollars that's about 2.5 dollars somebody can do the mathematics i think the right technology for nigeria is the greenhouse how big are greenhouses in mexico you want to tell people how much are people putting into greenhouse farming in mexico because i think nigeria can copy a lot of money for every greenhouse you have to find a tailor-made solution for every area in the world now talking about output what what kind of output do you think we can get a square meter from the game. There are some ones that are achieving uh, up to 40 kilos per square meter. So Whoa. it's an impressive uh, production you can you can make. The other time you were talking with Robert and um, you were talking about certain items, schooling, eating, uh, componenting your greenhouses. Do you need them? Don't you? Uh, it's a different thing to have certain components. It's another thing to know how to use it. Can you retreat that again? ...of the region, like the local weather, the climate, the... Uh, availability and price of energy in the product that you're producing. It is not just about equipment, it's the maximum output. If it makes sense, if it is economically feasible, we can do 20, 30 kg per square meter, we can do 40 kg per square meter. Knowledge is everything. Sometimes in 2024, I visited a place in Ekoi and a single building was selling for $1.5 million. And I was telling my friend that, you know, with this money, you can build one hectare greenhouse, a one extra greenhouse can somebody multiply 10,000 square meter by 23 kg that should tell you uh, the, the kind of turnover that greenhouse can bring you know a number of people are, are buying apartments in Ekoi in banana um two million dollars three million dollars 1.5 million dollars these can build massive greenhouses create jobs solve food problems and all that enough of know. seeing greenhouse projects that are being shut down Enough of seeing greenhouse projects that are being frustrated because you don't have the right stake. Hello, guys. Everyone also are here. I am live at Green Tech Amsterdam 2025. And I am here with my friend, Ilias, one of the big gurus of greenhouse farming, all the way from Waganiga University. I'm sure Ilias will want to tell you something, especially for Africans. You are in the tropics and you're looking at, is it worth it to grow in the greenhouse? What kind of yield can you get? Is the investment worth it? Ilias has one or two things to say to you. If you are there, can you also touch somebody? and then we can learn a lot from this yeah he is hello yeah you are uh, going to learn every mistake every uh secret that the touch growers know and transfer it to the growers in africa and uh, make the best out of it yeah ma majorly you, you know, will get green fingers that, that's how they say for the dutch growers they have green fingers green fingers they, they can grow very well <laughs> i think i'm i, I actually i actually <laughs> believe oh yeah green tom <laughs> interesting so tell us about the green tongue. Why why are the Dutch growers growing so much in, in the greenhouse? What what are the things that you think people like us are not doing correctly, especially? Well, it, it has been a lot of years of iterating and developing into the greenhouse sector, and it's it's the construction, but also the knowledge of the grower and uh, the support from all kinds of knowledge institutes, consultants. They just try to make the best out of everything they have. Mm, mm. The, the other time you were talking with Robert and um, you were talking about certain items, schooling, eating, uh, componenting your greenhouses. Do you need them? Don't you? Uh, it's a different thing to have certain components. It's another thing to know how to use it. Can you retreat that again? Yeah, well, I, was, I was telling that there's a lot of options in terms of climate control equipment, but for every greenhouse, you have to find a tailor-made solution for every area in the world. It's not one solution fits all. You cannot just copy a Dutch greenhouse in Africa and perform the same. It has to be fitted to the specific requirements of the region, like the local weather, the climate, the availability and price of energy in the product that you're producing. All this is important to get the maximum out of your business, your greenhouse. Mm. Interesting, you're hearing that, that it is not just about equipment, it's the maximum output. Now, talking about output, what, what kind of output do you think we can get per square meter from the game? 
Yeah. Maybe to say something. It, it, really, it really depends on the type of greenhouse because in a greenhouse you can manage everything at the root environment. You also not the climate around the plant. So depending on how many factors you can control, okay. you can go from very little to very high yield, of course. Uh, but when you say very little, what is very little? It, and it, everything comes with a cost, eh? because you can say I want cooling and heating and lighting and CO2, and of course that all helps to get more yield, but it all comes with a cost. Mm. So that's that's exactly what uh, what you should calculate in order to have a profitable business case. And otherwise, yeah, you just get the maximum yield. But you can be bankrupt from the cost. <laughs> and that's not what we want, of course. So a robot was saying uh, we can do 23 kg per square meter for better yeah, purpose than the stock. So what do you think about that? And yeah, he said we can even, square. if fully automated and all that, we can do up to 40. What do you think about that? Yeah, with a good greenhouse, we have we have to calculate and make the numbers out of it, but it's it's possible. Wow. Wow. And we have to see at the end if it, if it yeah. makes if it makes sense, if it is economically feasible. Mm. Mm. If it makes sense, if it is economically feasible, we can do 23 kg per square meter. We can do 40 kg per square meter. You know, that's huge. Yeah. And these are the things that we can achieve. Yeah. Knowledge is everything. So um, I don't know, Elias, is there any other thing you would like to uh, say to some of my friends, especially about no, just learning? Keep- Keep your example and uh, visit places where you can get new information and knowledge. I think that's important. What can Wagenigen help us? Like Wagenigen or, well, also companies in the Netherlands, they have a lot of knowledge. Places like here, you can get inspired from what is available in the greenhouse sector. Good, 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 good. Thank you so much, Ilias. Success with your business. Uh, I'm still here with some of the big business people. Uh, this is another big man from Mexico. So please tell us about yourself, did you? <laughs> tell us about yourself, the company in Mexico, what you grow, and um, yeah, how the Green Tech 2025 has grown. Uh-huh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Ahmed Chaim. Our company name is Invermex. We are in Mexico. We have a uh, we dedicate uh, our main solutions, internal solutions for agriculture. We manufacture greenhouses, irrigation, heating, all the climate, automatization for all the greenhouses. And so we are here in the green tech. Uh, very helpful. There's a lot of uh, suppliers uh, and there's a lot of new technology that we have to learn and, and to adopt in, in, in other countries. Interesting. Last year we visited a flower. <laughs> Uh, greenhouse built by OTX together. Um, how big are greenhouses in Mexico? You want to tell people how much are people putting into greenhouse farming in Mexico? Because I think Nigeria can copy a lot from them. Well, in Mexico right now, I think we should be <laughs> maybe 30,000 hectares. 30,000 hectares of green. Yes, I think so. There's a lot of berries, yeah, yeah. a lot of towns for berries, <laughs> and a lot of greenhouses for tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers. <laughs> Some lettuce, few, just a few of lettuce. And, and well, we have uh, different technologies in Mexico. We have, uh, you know, like uh, the very simple greenhouses until very, very high technology greenhouses. That depends on. Uh, uh, of the grower, of the needs, of the of the zone that he is, the region, what the tools that he wants to have to to produce, and, and oh, uh, everyone is different in the actually, and the business model is different. So that depends on each was nice uh, characteristic that uh, they make. So this is another person all the way from Mexico. These are big, not just growers. Greenhouse builders, uh, complete solution provider. Mm-hmm. Yesterday we had a conversation. What? Yes. And uh, we talk about average yield, and then good yield. I want you to start from. Tell us your name, your company, and then the side of average yield. Yeah. Okay. That you take. Well, I'm Ricardo Chain, uh, sales director of Invermix. We do deliver turnkey projects in house. And uh, yesterday we were having a very interesting conversation about. Uh, developing a project in in Nigeria for a pepper production. So we were sharing uh, what we see that can be achieved in a mid-tech greenhouse, uh, which may be really suitable for the Nigerian market. And uh, talking about peppers, uh, an average grower with this kind of technology can can get uh, between 23, 24 kilos per square meter. Uh, 
there are some growers who have uh, been using uh, water heating system with CO2 dosification. And with that technology, uh, there are some ones that are achieving uh, up to 40 kilos per square meter. So Whoa. it's an impressive uh, production you can you can make. You need to, and, and a few minutes ago, we were discussing about whether to use or not use more technology. Uh, you need to be very aware of the cost, the production cost, additional production cost you're going to have in gas or grow lights, etc. Uh, to be very careful selecting the right technology for the for the project. We always talk about not mid, not high, not low tech, but right tech. Right tech. Yep. Right technology. You hear that? And um, imagine 23 kg per square meter. I want somebody to do the calculations. Currently now, um, a kilo of bell pepper is at 5,000. That's how much is that in dollars? That's about 2.5 dollars. It. Somebody can do the mathematics. Femi, how much is a kilo of bell pepper now? Mm -hmm. Convert it to dollars and then put it here for me. Now, if if you are doing 24 kilo per square meter, mid tech, mm -hmm. mid yeah. tech, how much is that? How much is that? While I go to my next friend, and um, this is the, the person I'm going next to now is the founder of RTX. RTX is our new partner. Um, we, we are bringing OTX technology to Nigeria. Um, they do complete, I mean, complete solution. One of the big ones all the way here in Holland. Um, I'm privileged to be with Robert. Hi, Robert. And, um, I want you to, I want you to talk to my friends. Um, I just told them I'm bringing OTX technology to Nigeria, especially because we want to break that jinx. Yeah. We we want to grow that money tree. Yeah. And we want them to plug the money. The so please tree, tell, 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 the tell them. We we yeah, I, I met Robert in Nigeria during the OT Nigeria yeah. event. Yes, and then currently we are representing OTX in Nigeria. True. Guys, it's not just about the technology. It's the right technology. It's the right technology. Robert, can you talk to us about the right technology in Brazil? I think the right technology for Nigeria is the greenhouse where you where we adapt to the climate, Nigeria. So we take into account the humidity and the temperature. So we manage a greenhouse where you can handle that. And things can grow a good crop and have a good production uh, per kilo. And a reasonable investment. Indeed, what Ricardo was already saying, the right tech. And I think we, uh, you and me, we can, uh, we can uh, make a big success of that in, in Nigeria. This growing market with uh, also advanced healthy and good food. You you hear that the right thing, and see e enough of seeing greenhouse projects that have been shut down. Enough of seeing greenhouse projects that have been frustrated because you don't have the right tech. The right tech is what we're talking about now, and that's why OTX is uh, one of the companies we are working with to bring the right tech to Nigerians. Yes. Just imagine if you are doing let's just say twenty three kilo as we said, you know, as basic. 23 kilo per square meter and somebody multiply that by a 10,000 square meter greenhouse yeah. and you you look at what is doable the number of people you can you know have working there and it's, it's a food factory uh I, there's something i also want to ask what was the durability how long does this greenhouse is the high mid tech greenhouses that it's about 10,000 square meter uh the lifespan i'm going to say something about it well, the greenhouse structures can last, I think, for at least 12 to 15 years. Okay. The plastic will have to change a few times in the, in the meantime. I think the installations inside the greenhouse, like growing gutter or other cool phase systems, normally should last as long as the greenhouse structures. Greenhouse lasts. Yeah. 10, 10, 10 to 12 years at least. And if you maintain them in a, in a, good, in a good way, then I think it can even be done. Wow, wow. Um, you hear that? The reason I'm saying this is sometimes in 2024, I visited a place in Ekoi and a single building was selling for $1.5 million. And I was telling my friend that, you know, with this money, you can build a one hectare greenhouse. A one hectare greenhouse. Can somebody multiply 10,000 square meter by 23 kg? That should tell you uh, the, the kind of turnover that greenhouse can bring, you know. A number of people are, are buying apartments in Ekoi in Banana, um, $2 million, $3 million, $1.5 million. 
this can build massive greenhouses, create jobs, solve food problems, and all that, you know. So the right tech is the right thing or the next thing we need to do now. And that's one of the things I'm bringing from Green Tech Amsterdam 2024. Right tech, right tech, right tech. Let's go there. Um, we, we can do it. I strongly believe it. Can we do it? Do you think yes, we can. the support we need? Okay. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So thank you so much, Robert. Um, we can make it, it happen. Yeah. It has been a wonderful green tech. And um, as I leave, I bring to you the word right tech. Right tech. Right tech.